Respect your elders. I can guarantee the person that made up that saying was probably some 300 year old, can't breathe without his oxygen tank, eats his oatmeal through a tube. Cause the older I get, right? The older I get, the more I realize a lot of these people are just faking, right? This maturity thing, this knowledge thing. Growing up definitely means getting wiser, but Grown up also means realizing adults are just grown up children. They're just grown up children, little babies. Little babies whose perspective on life accounts for nearly probably 30 to 60% of whatever their parents told them. Like, imagine, imagine being born in a Mormon community. Imagine being born in this shut off from the outside world community. All your all your knowledge on the world, all your knowledge on the world just de just derives from these boomers that have the technological intelligence of a toddler from the suburbs. <laughs> you got to do this. You got to do that and once you do, then you'll transcend into the bro, what? What? You, you don't even know how to use an iPhone, okay? You don't even know what an ethernet cable is, bro. Why are you talking? Save it, okay? Save it. <laughs> what it is, right? <laughs> what it is, is that elder people, I think maybe they understand the world more, as in life in general. You know, elder people, they know what it takes to survive, right? Their, their age is a good indication of that. But I'd say younger people, that they understand the modern world better. You know, they can they can detect the finer details and shit. You know, that they pick up they pick up things easier because the synapses in their brain haven't turned to fucking rubber yet. Another thing I find is that elders, elders, they cling to their old outdated ideologies, you know, kinda kinda like the way that dirt clings to white tennis shoes. I I'm supposed to be I'm supposed to be gaining wisdom from a nigga. Meanwhile, they're still stuck in the 1940s. Never fails. Never fails asking friends about their family. It's it's always the grandma or grandpa that's the oddball out. Friends on Discord, IRL friends, ex-girlfriends of friends, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, right? So um so how is your grandma like? Oh, uh, she, she's really sweet. She's really sweet. Uh, she bakes for us. She took care of me and my siblings when my mom was going through hard times. Yeah, um, she's great, bro. She's great, but uh, she, she's absolutely terrified of black people, though. Yeah, yeah. In fact, if, if she saw me talking to you, she might even she might even excommunicate me from the family. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there, there's even that one meme, right? There's even that one meme. Uh, I don't know if I saw it on iFunny or Reddit, but it went something like, there's this chimp, there's this chimp that's chewing on something, right? I don't know if it's like bamboo or twigs or whatever the fuck chimps eat, right? And, and it pauses, it pauses for a moment, like something, something unexpected happened. And, and it's captioned with, eating cookies at grandma's as she proceeds to say the most racist, vile shit you can imagine. <laughs> you can imagine. It's taken years, years of ass kissing managers, ass kissing teachers, relatives, and only recently, only recently that I had the epiphany that you elders are exactly just the same as the young niggas you lecture. You're not this infallible God. If anything, we probably deserve as much respect, probably even more. Probably even more, okay? Only thing that's different between the two of us is that you're old. You're old and know how to do taxes. That's it. <laughs> hey, let's um, let's make a deal, okay? We get four likes on this video. We get four likes on this video, and I will literally drink a glass of water. Yeah, no self control on my own. The lonely niggas to load when the money go missing. Yeah. And my wallet and my ribcage, I love love enough for comfort, knowing money goes with it.